Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Really exciting day. Finally got all of the 2024 Seaforce 1000s and 800s in stock. So I can finally do this comparison video. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about each machine and the features that they come with. Second part we're gonna do is comparing the two and maybe why you would buy each one. And then at the end, we're gonna go inside because I have more color options in there. The 800, we got some accessories on it. And then we're gonna show you how the two up seat We'll click off of the 800 onto the 1000 and turning that into a Touring. So let's jump into it. So the first two machines you see outside here are the Velocity Gray 800 and the Desert Tan 1000. Quite a few differences between these. Now they do share the same chassis. So if we pulled all the plastic off in the wheels, same suspension, same shock packages, same displays, same like initial racks, but the 1000 is gonna get quite a few more accessories that we're gonna talk about here in a few minutes. But first, let's go over this 800. What you get with the 800, they retail for $93.99. There is dealer freight. We don't charge any setup fees at our dealership. Not sure where you're located. So $93.99 is the MSRP on the 800. And $10.399 is MSRP on the 1000. At the current time of this video, there are rebates or there are really good financing options. I do not want to talk about the sale prices because every month things are changing. In fact, the prices are gonna change in two days. We don't know what's gonna happen. So for $93.99, this is your base 800. What you get, you get power steering, you get a winch, a 3,500 pound winch with the synthetic rope. You get full aluminum wheels. This is a painted machine. You get fully adjustable shocks. So we have the clickers on top here. We can fully adjust these. And as you come toward the back, we have, let's start here. We have the hand guards, and then we have the two up seat with a nice raised footing. So your passenger is really gonna enjoy the ride. And then if we look toward the back here, this is a three link suspension. It's actually tethered up here in the front. So there's no traditional A-arms on the 800s or the 1000s. So you get way more of a trophy truck feel. So as you're coming into the bumps, it lifts up like, like you're going across the desert. Very smooth ride. It does have the two inch receiver in the rear. And when the 800s do have a full chassis skid plate, I'll try and turn my gimbal for you guys there. You do have the rear storage. There's our little tool kit, not super deep. I'm not trying to talk the storage up. There is storage there, just not a ton of it. And as we come around this side, you're gonna see the shift lever. So here is the 12 volt. And then we have the USB ports. There's two on this model. And then in here we have low, high, neutral, reverse, and park. So those are our gear selections. If we're pulling a trailer, we're gonna use low. If we're trail riding at a higher speed, we're gonna use high range. On the handlebars, we have our light switch, our start button, our horn. This is our display, which is the same on both units. And right now this one's in diff lock mode. I had to crawl over the curb a second ago, so I put it in diff lock. Two wheel, four wheel, and then four wheel diff lock. The key power is over there, so if we turn the key on, it's going to give us our full display. Now the engine light, oil light, and power steering light are on until they start. We have a full tank of fuel. I was running this one, so we have three bars on the heat side. And I am in four-wheel mode. So it's in park, and we're going zero miles an hour. So that's a rundown of the display. And again, two-up seat, super comfortable. This is where we put the fuel in. So for a C4 800, that's your standard features. The 1000 is everything that the 800 is plus more. So with the 1000s, you're gonna gain the full front bumper accessory with fog lights. So there's a switch on the handlebar that controls these fog lights, but I wanna show you the winch because it also comes with the synthetic rope, which is an upgrade. So typically your, your cable winch, you can kind of fray and hurt your hands where the synthetic rope is nicer to touch now we never recommend hanging on to the actual cable or the rope. You always want to hold on to this side of the hook. You don't want your hand inside of there at all. So front bumper accessory with the fog lights built in. You can tell that the hand guard is a little bit different because we now gain a small windshield in the middle. So if we pan back over here to the 800, there's no windshield here, especially like right now it's super windy and it's like mid twenties out, really chilly this morning. So the windshield might help you out a little bit there. As we come toward the back, this is our three link storage bins. So these are all independent. We can take off 
the left, right, or the center bin all individually. And we're gonna go over that inside here in a minute because I wanna show you how that two-up seat is gonna click into the middle of this. It's really cool, but inside of here, each bin, tons of storage. If you don't want any of them on there, you clean them all off the rack, set them in the garage. Very expensive to buy into that system though. So if you're looking for storage, you might wanna to jump to the 1000. In the back, we gain a full rear bumper. Now these bumpers can be purchased for the 800. And again, in a few minutes, we're gonna go over some of that. And the skid plate on the 1000s is much thicker. You can see the thickness here on this plastic skid plate. We enjoy plastic skid plates more than uh, like aluminum. We do a ton of dirt bike racing and plastic glides 1000% better over rocks than aluminum does. All the hard enduros that we run really enjoy those. Let's have a look at the handlebars here. So there's a couple differences. Well, only, only one or two. So light switch, start switch, still has the horn. The winch is in and out here. Now this is your fog light button here. So this turns the fog lights on and off. Same exact display, same features as the other one. We'll turn the key power on to show you. And again, full tank of fuel. Every machine we sell comes with that. But other than that, display is identical between the two. We have the two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and diff lock button there. And then I just flick the key power. So handlebars is roughly the same feel, same exact shift pattern, same exact 12 volt and USB. The floorboards are identical. You can see it's already prepped for the two up seat to click on there. So thousand dollar price difference. Let's jump into now the comparison between the two machines. Let's jump into now the comparison between the two machines. If you're coming into the showroom wanting a big bore two up, it's a huge value. We sell a ton of these. At $93.99, it's $1,000 less than this. This machine also has beadlock wheels too. I do want to mention that. Um, I forgot on the 1000 walk around here a second ago, that has beadlock wheels. So for $1,000, if you jump up to the 1000, you're gonna gain front bumper, rear bumper, fog lights, beadlock wheels, a windshield, and the storage bin. If you start pricing out the accessories, you know, like a bumper is like two, 250, a rear bumper is 200, 250. Beadlock wheels are pretty expensive. The storage bins are really expensive, but I don't want you to get caught up too much on like just jotting those things down and comparing them. Because if you want to turn the 1000 into a touring, that seat kit is like 500 bucks. So we have to add the seat kit to the 1000 to get there. So it kind of makes the price difference a little bit more. But more than just the price, the 1000 is way more aggressive power than the 800. It really is. It's a huge power difference. Not everybody wants a 1000. So I don't want to push everybody there. I really think the 800 is a better engine choice for around here. We're in the woods. Uh, you can see around here, it's all woods. We're not in high elevation. The 1000s work really good high elevation because you start to lose power. This machine is 79 horse and this is 62. So it is quite a difference even though the CCs, that's like a 963 CC and that's a true 800 CC. So not a huge difference in CC engine size, but the power is huge difference. But let's start the 800 here. Give you guys a quick little walk around of it. Again, it's like a, it's down in like the single digits with the windshield this morning here. Has a really good deep throaty sound to it. You can tell you're on a V-twin. And then let's start the 1000. So we'll turn the key on. You can tell a little bit more with a thousand, a little more of a punch to it. So if you stand back, you can hear that machine over the 800. Definitely a little throatier. I'm gonna let them warm up for a minute and then we'll rev them for you guys. All right, so I ran back inside. I got warmed up and we let the machines warm up a little bit. So let's rev the 800 for you guys so you can feel it, or you hear it. Nice, easy, not super, I don't think it's great if they're super loud. You don't wanna be hearing that all day on the trail. You can hear a little throatier though on the 1000. 
definitely throatier. You know what? Let's drive them real quick. It's super cold out, but let's go up and on the driveway just real quick. I'm not going to go fast, so it'll take my breath away. Let's just do this and throw this thing in reverse. I think I think the whole point of what I'm doing now is just to kind of feel the speed difference, right? Or the like the initial jerk. So see if Moto has done a great job this year. So like we're in reverse and we're backing up. Typically in the past, and you did that, it would send you on these big bore ATVs, it would just send you blasting backwards. We're in high range right now. Obviously I've ridden hundreds of CF motos. So I can kind of control the throttle. I'm pretty comfortable with it. But it's not aggressive. Like it's super easy to control this. Again, it is freezing outside. These big bore ATVs, you really got to be careful. They'll get away from you. There's there's a ton of power behind these things. But that is super controllable. Like none of that feels like it's getting away from you. Let's use low range because sometimes that's a little jerkier. Okay, low range definitely takes off more. So if you're trying to load this on a trailer, I really like how the brake is on the same side as the throttle for this exact purpose. I know like in every safety video, both hands need to be on the machine. I get that. Um, but right now I've got one finger on the brake and I can have my hand on the throttle. So it's beautiful. So low range is definitely a little jerkier on the 800. Let's just back it up away from the door here. Again, hands back on the brake. And let's just drive that thing up and down the driver real quick. And then we're gonna run inside. I'll show you guys the other colors. And we will also go over the two up seat stuff. So let's see, we're in park. Put this thing in high range. Actually, let's try reverse first. I wanna feel the reverse difference. I kind of feel like the 1000 throttle is out further and what I mean is like I really got to stretch my hand back further to get to it. This is definitely different than that 800 a second ago. My hand is out further it feels like. Um, so if you're riding all day long you really have your hand way out here it's probably going to cramp it. So I'm just making note of that for you guys. Uh, your thumb is out further. Okay that is super easy. Whatever they did to this 1000. I'm going to do it again here. Let's go forward a little bit in high range. Okay, that engagement is easy, super controllable. Let's go in reverse again, and let's just see if I got lucky the first time. It's, it's really controllable. If you're in reverse for a 1000, there's nothing here that I'm nervous about. Again, I've, I've driven so many of these things. So let's go in high range, we'll just kind of shoot up like I just did. Man, you know you're on a thousand now, holy smokes. These things go, these things are so wicked fast, I love it. And then uh, going to low range here, now we're in low. So the initial jump in low is pretty aggressive, but then it evens out. So like, it's still really controllable, but the first little, like watch right here, the first little, you gotta be careful. But now that I'm in low, very controllable. You just have to watch out for that first little jump. So be careful. Let's back up next to the other one. But if you're in the showroom buying a big bore ATV, Hopefully you understand throttle control or what you're getting into. So let's run inside now and we'll check out some more machines. All right, so we're inside now and this is a bone stock Seaforce 1000. This is tactical green. It's kind of cool, it's a matte finish. And I should mention, so is the Desert Tan. The 1000 is a matte finish for this year where the 800s are still a painted finish. So this is a Seaforce 800. This is lava orange. And we've, we've dressed this one up in the showroom. So we added that front bumper kit. We added the front rack extender. We added their rear rack extender, their rear storage bin, and then their rear bumper. So we did some accessories to this 800. We, we sell a ton of these orange ones. It's a huge seller, really pops in the showroom and also on the trail. So the next thing, and the last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna pop the two-up seat off this 800 
and throw it in that 1000. So the last thing we're gonna do is take this storage bin off and put the two-up seat kit on it. So what's cool with this 1000 is we can leave the side storage bins on and just remove the center bin to put that two-up seat on. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the storage bin and down inside of here there are two quarter turn locks. So one, two, and so now I have the two quarter turn locks out and I have yet to take this one off. So all we gotta do now is I'm gonna push up on it a little bit to kind of rock it up. I'm gonna pull back out and I'll show you the bottom here in a second. You can kind of see why it's got that front clip on there. That's where it slid into. You can kind of see that bracketry. Show them the brackets in there, Braxy. So it's identical to the 800, it is so cool. They also make an infill rack. So if you just wanna like take the seat off and make this rack bigger, they make a cool click in right here that would, that would make this full. So you don't have a seat, but you don't have a big space. So now let's come over here, Braxton. I took the rear storage bin off of this just so I could get in here easier to show you guys on the video. So on these 800s, it's very easy to take the seat off. There's a latch down here in the bottom. I just pull up on the latch and I just kind of wiggle the seat around. So now that the seat is loose, I can just grab it completely off of here. And what we're trying to do Show them the seat right here, Braxton, real quick. What we're trying to do is we're gonna line these two hooks up with the front set down here, and we're just gonna latch the back side in. So let's run over to the 1000. And I'm just gonna set this down in here. It takes a second to get it where you want it. And when they're new, sometimes that front seat is pushing up on the latch and it misses. I think it might be a little bit on top of it there. And it is, so I just gotta keep pushing it forward. So I've done a ton of these, so it's I kinda knew what to expect there. But that bottom seat was pushing up on the latch there, keeping it from going down in the peg. So now it's fully locked in. Come on in, buddy, you can show how you still have a ton of room. You know what? Why don't you hop up on there? Because you're gonna, you're the size of a typical passenger. This is my 12 year old, this is Braxton. So relax your arms, you still have some arm room there. Yeah, I think people were just concerned that their elbows were gonna hit. That's not the case. You got long legs, but you fit just fine on there. So that's the example of the two up seat on the 1000. And back to this machine if you want, you can now get that infill rack and you can turn this rack into a huge one piece rack. One last thing, Braxton, let's show these folks real quick how the side bins come off. So you're like, that's cool, Jared, that you can leave the sides on, but we still wanna take them off. So all we do is we have, we unlock that side, then I'm gonna push down here, unlock this side, kinda, so the tricky part is you kinda have to hold these up a little bit so that they come out. And then this comes off. You can see that the bottom of this bin has a, a latch here. It's going to catch there, and then it's got a centering pin. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching our video. This is Jared at 3 Cs Recreation. If you want mine, please consider subscribing to our channel. Give the video a like, and any kind of comment will help the algorithm take this video and, and make it higher in the listing. So thank you guys for watching our video. Jared at 3 Cs. Enjoy the ride, and we'll see you in the trail.